It's Dude Steve and Mr. We are back in episode of Victoria 2. Oh, no, drop this. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> oh. The amount of times everyone has just been like, huh? This is one of those times. You guys are all helping China get up on their feet. You guys all disgust me. We should be not praising China for its glory, but praising it for... I'm just going to subsidize everything. Just subsidize everything. I'm going to take a major hit here soon. But just subsidize everything. We're going to get everything back on the, on the board before we do anything and just start expanding again. So we took, we took a major hit, I know. I know, I know, we all took a major hit. A lot of my capitalists left my country. I'm guaranteeing I have no more capitalists. Excellent. Yeah, 41,000, actually that's still a decent amount. But, holy shoot, I have more men. Uh, oh there they are. Everyone but you, you stay. Yeah, it's making for a new army over here. But yes, guys, we are back. We are back. I'm always back. In block. Mm-hmm. And this is an outrage. Are we about ready to go to war with these guys? Because seriously, I want to go take them down. <laughs> I want to go make sure China's split up forever. Like, I'm not... I'm, I'm legitly just wanting to go kill more of China. I'm not... My... 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 My aggression and my just exacting revenge onto China has not quite ended. Even though the war has ended, it's not quite ended. And over here we have the war for Greek and uh, Greco independence. Germany, um, not Germany. Uh, Turkey's doing a very good job of cleaning up all that. Don't even have to deal with that. As you guys know, Russia formed last episode. Soviet Union. We're trying to secure an alliance with them while we still have a chance. That way, the Bolsheviks will make sure they know that India is very friendly and poses no threat to their empire. We just want to be friendly nation buddies. That's our saying, friendly nation buddies. Okay. And, you know, the way we do that is through peaceful negotiation. Not through war. Through peace, bro. Through peace. So yeah, as you guys can see, we're going to conquer this pretty quickly. Plus, we'd be able to cut China in half, which is, you know, an above all super goal I want to do. Is cutting China in half. They will accept. Let's be friends, Soviet, Soviet allies! We're not friends, and oh my shoot, you really need to get control of your rebel problem. And you're still capital of St. Petersburg. It should be Moscow. I don't know where Moscow is, but it should be Moscow. And why are you not mobilizing to deal with level problem? You guys are almost as stupid as the Soviets were at the end of the Cold War. Sheesh. That is a very unfair battle. But I'm going to add my soldiers in too, because I just want to crush these guys. Uh, crush, crush, crush. Should be able to end this war very quickly. I mean, no one else is bigger than me, so... Yeah. And how are we doing over here back in Djibouti? Did we conquer back the rest of Djibouti? Djibouti is the rest of our colony. So let's start expanding everything in Djibouti. Djibouti. I mean, to a lesser extent, all these places, but... Eh. They're just not as important as Djibouti. Djibouti is my colony. It is my colony. No one can ever say otherwise. So I built my first army. Kaboomy! Uh, Kaboomy. Okay, and we're going to soon have our first tanks being built. Which will be amazing, and the fascists are gaining power, but the socialists are losing power, which is good and bad at the same time, cause, cause the fascists usually contend to everyone, and actually I don't mind being fascist in this game, like in this, this is one of the few times I will actually say I don't mind being fascist, really? Huh. Why would they not accept full... Oh, I see. We don't have all the regions. I was like, why would they not accept full annexation? There we go. Okay. Let's see. The Zanzai, you guys will accept. Fine. Yay! More people in our realm. We gained, like... Dang, we gained a lot of people in that one conquest. But we gained, like, a lot of money. So now I'm going to keep this soldiers right here. And we're going to be right next to our friendly neighborhoods. Um... I'm also going to divide these men, because I feel like this is going to be a war zone down here. So, we're just going to be dividing up our men, guarding up this region from... 
Yeah, this is gonna be a war zone down here. But yeah, now that we have all this done, yeah, we just have to get out of this war over here. That's really not our war. And why is Greece? I think Greece is also communist. Like you would think that they would have a much bit. You know, you would think Turkey and Greece have a much bigger bond, but they don't. And wow, the socialists have taken over in this world. Like one, two, three, four. No, Austria is still the same. Greece is, this is all still the same. All still the same, but dang. Like, seriously though, they've taken over a couple big countries which have, you know, drastically switched up the order. I mean, Soviet Union, Turkey, and Greece, that's amazing. Let me see, political party-wise. Where's the political party map? Where's the political party? There it is. I mean, are you guys socialists? Socialist, yeah! See what I mean? Bavaria is definitely socialist. There's no way they cannot be socialist. Uh, and then, wow. Just like all these countries and just all this and then... Look at us! We are so like... Yeah, it's not even funny. So, yeah, that's our country, guys. India, the country that doesn't really have an, a real joy in almost any other political ideology. We just kind of like, yeah. Okay, go send my soldiers to go help these guys. I don't want them to necessarily lose. Do we do want them to keep crushing all of these stupid rebels? Because we still want them all dead. And now since we have a land bridge to divide China, um, I have to just finish out this war over here that I didn't even want to fight. Okay, you guys are about done. Like, seriously? Does it really take that long to conquer Greece and take what you want? I don't think so. Like, I don't think so. So Greece wants to offer... Oh yeah, I could just accept all this. Proceed. Proceed. I mean, Turkey's never going to come back into the game as a great power, but they can also get some more land. What? Oh, I don't have an alliance with Turkey anymore. There we go. <laughs> there we go. And I honestly think we are the most complex nation ever. We hate... Like, seriously, guys. We hate communists, but yet we are friends with two communist nations. The two biggest communist nations, and we are friends with them. Just, just like that. It, why? I don't know. Uh, projected balance. It's probably because of this industrial subsidize. If I had to, I'd let all these factories would die slowly because we just don't. Uh, uh, let's try 60. This is going to hurt my economy, but I don't really need to expand any more of my factories for a very long time. Like, for a very long time, guys. We don't really need to expand. So we might as well see how much it's going to hurt me by... Uh, uh, okay, isn't that bad? We could deal with that. A hundred, a hundred, not too bad. We could deal with a hundred. Okay, just, we probably have to increase it to 65. That's about good. I still want some. There we go. 65 taxes. Not bad. Should be able to balance out everything, and we're good. We're good, so... We got new people in our world. We now have just a whole bunch of different ethnicities. I mean, we really aren't centralized. The only thing we are centralized about is the Hindu religion. Which is about the only thing we are centralized about. I mean, our domestic issues are so different. Our ideology is kind of weird. Workforce. Actually, we are pretty much united in workforce. So, good job, farmers, for not realizing the advancements of technology. Yeah! Okay, so now since we've had a free moment and I like to do this, let's start breaking up some of my realm into little tinier nations, but little tinier nations that don't matter to me. Like, I would not care if they were gone. I care if this was gone, so don't even dare. Up-to-date maintenance, now pain, Silma. I think I probably mind Silma. Uh, Siam, I'm definitely not letting go of Siam, I just got that. It's insane. Alright, so I'm basically at the point where I'm going to have to... Because it basically... This is going to give you at least five no matter what you do. So I'm going to have to choose the least significant provinces of all in the one province minor to, like, start releasing. Because we don't need to be... Because honestly, we could just have a rebellion in these places and they'll come back to me. So, you know, we have to do that. But I seriously think we should expand into... Man, this is... Uh... We're setting, we're setting back, oh, by the way, I may have, uh, 
This is like my only source of rubber. I mean... It, I kind of like my source of rubber. <laughs> but I must be honest with you guys, I kind of like my source of rubber. Like, I do, but... Uh, that's a toughie. That's a toughie. Let's see, how much is it producing of rubber? Is it producing a major amount? Please tell me no. Comparatively to the rest of the Indian places, it's producing kind of bad, I think. 4.08. How much is this colony producing? Oh, zero. Did we mine all this out, really? Okay, so maybe we should keep this colony. So, definitely can't release that. I like how my India looks right now. It looks so natural. Uh, well, actually, you know what we could do? Is, I didn't even think of this, but all we have to do is just, um, you know, release them, and then we just have to spear them again, and I think then they'll become a part of our empire again, because then they'll just be annexed, because they don't have to deal with as much. We just have to make sure we have a core on them. That's the only thing, and then we get them. So we have a core on this. No, we don't. So that's why we can never get these guys back. So, yeah, that makes sense. We could totally do that. Reach Japur again. Reach Jesmine. This is kind of a cheating way to get no infamy. But, okay, you guys are going to be influenced. I remember influencing you the first time. You were not easy nations. But the second time should be much easier because I own you guys. You guys do not do anything. You guys don't sneeze. You guys don't go to the bathroom without me saying yes, sir. Okay, so we got 13-0 Infamy. Um, uh, Baikonur. Releasing Baikonur might also help my Baikonur. Let's see, would that still give me... Do you want to release? No. Because it doesn't give me anything. Release this. Let's see. Does it actually still decrease? Baikonur. So I thought I would have much less by now. Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay. And honestly, like I said, we should be able to get back all of this very, very soon. I mean, this is... It sounds it seems like a big decision, but we have to make sure we keep... We have to keep... Um, uh, what are they called? The Chinese divided. And this will be another way to divide China and expand a little bit into China. It's taking over the Heavenly Kingdom having the Soviets do all the major work of course because I'm not really gonna do it but yeah just keep conquering the heavenly kingdom conquer all of this and then just use their manpower against them and have the biggest and most powerful army in the world and that way they will never ever ever mess with me again and <laughs> all these reforms are still coming up and I'm just like no no I'm just not that nice of a guy <laughs> that's that's just really it is I'm just not not I'm just not that nice of a guy. These guys are almost there. Come on, Mongol. You guys can do it, Mongol. You guys can do it. You guys can do it. Even though you guys are really a sad nation, but you guys can do it. You guys can win. I believe in you. I believe in you. Seriously, guys. I seriously do believe in them. They could really like make a difference here. Okay. Let's see, is there any places I need to, like, expand? No, I got my railroads good all over there. Uh, railroads need to start being expanded. Let, let's see what I mean? That is... Oh my goodness, I could definitely abuse this. Uh, which one was it? Oh, it's this one right here. Oh my goodness, this is like abuse, abusive a power. Oh my goodness, we could... Oh, the amount of things I'm thinking we could do with this. Ah, we could delete this. You guys go down here. You guys are going to be my, uh, my horn force at, over here so we can get a bigger army. Yeah, oh my goodness. <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing, but okay. They were like, okay, cool. Cool, James, you can laugh whatever you want. It's, it's fun, it's fun. Tensions dissipate. Oh, I hate you, Germany, so much. I'm not joining. Okay, so there is a crisis, guys, going on, and a bunch of you guys do want me to join crisis a little bit. <laughs> yeah! Yay! 
Inheriting stuff is so much fun! Yay! I could enter it, but I'm still... I still have to recover all my manpower before we do go into any, like, major wars. Like, seriously. Okay, let's go to war against you guys. Conquer the Heavenly Kingdom. Unlikely? Why would the Soviets not join in? Are they in their own wars? Hmm. Okay, then I guess I won't join in. Because I don't want to not have my greatest ally, the Soviets, not in it. Okay, my soldiers are cleaning up all that. I'm also going to build my new army again. Okay, I always forget if these are... These are horsemen or armor, but I'm going to start producing... Actually, you know what? The next couple of rounds, I'm just going to produce a lot of those guys. But dang, if we're not going to have the uh, Soviet blessing, as I would like to call it, then I need to know right now. Come on, Mongolian liberation of Chinese Manchua. That would help us out so much, because then I'd like to divide up everything. Trouble is brewing. Oh no. Okay. Because if, if, the, if the Russians don't join in, actually that would hinder us completely because we can't... Like I could join in the war. I think everyone... Ah, oh, dang it. The Soviets didn't join in. Are they in the crisis right now? Oh, well, the crisis just ended, so... Nuts of that. Okay, we're just gonna have to... I'm just gonna have to wait a little bit for my lines to get back in. I'm not gonna fight the Heavenly Kingdom. Oh, heck no. I've done enough fighting of China to know that this is not gonna end well. So, let's see. False. Give me one second, France. I want my other more important ally. Well, actually, you're already allied, so it might give me a more better advantage. Let's see, then... You guys... Very unlikely. How about forming an alliance? Are you guys still stingy about that? They will accept. Let me get that alliance. There we go. Right now, we're at 200 relations. I have great allies right now. I do need the Soviets' help, though. Because otherwise, I'm not going to be able to do this war properly. Because I really do need them. So we're going to try before this episode ends and before my battery dies. Um, to definitely try to get the Soviets involved. And dang, is it getting so hot in here. And Queen Yai, yes! Look at that, guys. Look at that, the Chinese. The Chinese Empire is rescinding. Is receding. Oh my goodness, this is this is happy days, everyone. These happy days are here again. Oh, I'm going to so take advantage of that in a second. I'm just, I'm going to gobble up all of China. Just gobble, gobble, gobble. They are all going to be dead. Dead man walking. Dead man walking. Okay. So, Russia, will you please, I mean, please, will you guys join in? Please! Yes! See, everyone, please does work. Okay, go take them on while I go improve some of our economics a little bit. So I need to go take down other things. So, now Russia deals with that entire problem, and I just sit back here and just watch. That's basically how this works. Russia will send in more troops. I will just watch and just be like, yep, 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 good job, good job, good job. This is good, this is good. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, not responding. Okay, let's see. Let's see, am I building my one tank? Because that's usually a problem, is that sometimes I'm not building the tanks. Okay. Destroy this. It's not... Some of these things I'm just going to have to admit I'm not going to make profit. Okay. If you're in negative 10 and I'm supporting you and you're making no money, yeah, that's not going to make any money. Uh, that's not going to make any money. You see, even had stuff going for it. That's not gonna make any money. I'm just gonna delete the really heavily draining ones. Because these are the ones that just will not make any money. No matter what we do. 
Like this one right here. Like we have enough soldiers, it's just that we didn't have enough iron. That's that's really where it's at. We have enough everything else, but we don't have enough iron for these places. And I'm gonna conquer Quinya as quickly as possible so the Chinese the Chinese don't snatch them up. Okay, I'm gonna go send these soldiers to go deal with all these uh, heavenly kingdom troops. Oh my goodness, <laughs> China is gonna be so mad at me. China is just like must be the most inflamed people ever, because they must be like, oh my goodness. We lost all of our men to these guys, all of them. I mean, they lost. A, they're losing a lot of men, and we're not giving it back. That's my motto, everyone. That's my motto. So I want to thank you guys for watching. This was a fun episode, and don't forget to comment, subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time.